I hereby present you with this trophy for finding my channel. Congratulations! You did it! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. There's about 30 more of you than there were last time and I say welcome to you. I'm super glad to have you here. My last video got a lot of traffic and I was really excited about that. I wish I could take all the credit. I know uh, most of you just clicked on it because it said Tiffios. But I hope you enjoyed those crafts. This isn't just a crafts channel, but I've done a lot of them lately. It's definitely something I enjoy doing and I plan to do lots of on this channel. Although um, it's probably not going to be exclusively that. I do want to do it with some other things. Um, I do have other things that I want to try in the future. But for now, I'm definitely doing a lot of those. I really enjoy making crafts for you guys. Um, I enjoy watching other people make crafts. I, um, I just, it's just really fun to make things. So I've got another DIY for you today. Um, Father's Day is coming up here in just a couple days and I wanted to give you an idea, maybe some inspiration for something you could do for your dad um, or grandfather or just any, any uh, father figure in your life. I did a similar version of this for Father's Day last year. Um, we made these really cute trophies out of paper cups and we decoupaged them. I did it with my cousins last year um, when I was out there seeing them uh, last summer and it was really, they turned out really cute. But I wanted to do a little bit more of an adult version, grown up version this year. Um, and so this is what I came up with. It's really freaking huge. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make it. The three parts that I used for this were um, I used this glass candle holder that was real heavy and square at the bottom for the base that I used upside down and then I used one of those taper candle holders that you can find at like any dollar store and then just a bigger um, wide bottom vase. You also need some spray paint in gold and black and a glue gun. The first step before you glue any of the parts together I like to swab um, the surfaces with a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to make sure they're clean. I want to make sure that the glue adheres as well as possible to the glass. I then just took some hot glue and put it around the wide part of the candlestick and glued that to the bottom of the vase. I then took both my parts, I didn't glue the base yet, I took both my parts and I spray painted the top part a nice gold. After I was done with that I took the base the base um, candle holder and spray painted that black. I made a huge mess in the process, but that's okay. Um, I then just uh, hot glued the gold part to the black base and I was really excited because it fits so well into that little circle there at the top of the base there. And this gives you the basic uh, trophy shape, and I really like how this one looks. So the next step was just to accessorize it a little bit. I just decided to take some gold stickers that I had, some gold letter stickers that I had laying around, and just wrote out Best Dad um, on the base. Then just took some gold ribbon um, around the bottom just to kind of add a little bit of break up the color, break up the black a little bit, and just wrap that around and secured it with some hot glue. I then took a piece of black ribbon, tied it around the top, and um, tied it like a, a necktie. I used, I used a Windsor knot, which I don't think I could explain to you very well, but I will link the YouTube video that I watched to learn how to do this down below so that you can learn how to tie a Windsor knot yourself if you want to do this. I then just trimmed the bottom of the ribbon down to make it look like a tie and secured the whole thing in place with a little hot glue so it wouldn't slide down. The last thing I added was just some fun musical note stickers. My dad is very musically talented and I just thought that that was very appropriate for my dad. And uh, that's basically what I did. I really like how this turned out. I feel like it looks really nice. It doesn't look super cheap, um, but I didn't spend a lot of money on it. 
and I'm just really happy with that. So I, I hope this inspires you as well. If you want to make one that's not quite so um, ginormous, uh, I made this other one using one of those wide tin cans that are like used for like, I think this one had like canned chicken and then just a water goblet that I sprayed painted gold and spray painted the can black and just glued those together and got a really nice looking smaller version which you could also accessorize as you wish. So that's two different options, one that's like ginormous like I have and then the smaller one. So I hope this was helpful for you. Well guys I hope you liked this tutorial. Even if you don't make this craft I hope you at least um, say hello to your dad on Father's Day or whatever father figure or um, whoever you have in your life that's special. Just be sure to tell them that you love them and um, remember that it's not about um, things, it's about the love. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I should be back with another one um, after a little while. I'm going to try to get another one out before the end of the weekend, but I don't want to make any promises. Don't forget that if you can't find the awesome every day, create it. See you later!